Are you gonna give me your number? Right. If I'm gonna give you, no, I'm not gonna give you my number. Why should I? <laughs> It's all about Africa to the world. It's all about showing the positive images of Africa. But like I always do, you cannot be talking about how beautiful Africa is without talking about how beautiful and unique our women are. You know, African women are queens, man. Like if you know an African woman, right, beside you tell you, my queen, nice to meet you, my queen. You know, try to get one African woman today. But we are in the smiling coast of Africa. Why are you not smiling? Come on, she's smiling. <laughs> you know what? No, are you nervous? Um, a little bit nervous. A little bit nervous? Yes. Do you need a hug? Maybe. Oh. Oh, I oh. You know, in the smiling coast, we smile and hug, you know. So that's what we're going to do. What is so unique about Gambian women? Um, Gambian women, we mm -hmm. are special. Okay. We are intelligent. Wow. We are smart. We are lovable. Lovable? Yes. Can I love you? Yes, you can love me. Oh, oh, I finally got a, oh, no, I got a new girlfriend? No! <laughs> anyway, um, we are here to find out how unique you are. But we also want to know, apart from Gambian men, mm -hmm. do Gambian women date out of Gambia? Do Gambian women date? Date, out of like, it, can you guys marry out of Gambia? Yes, maybe. It depends. It depends? Yes. Have you ever tried that before? No, I have never tried that. Do you want to try? No. Why? Because I think um, what I need in other men outside Gambia, we, sorry, you, the Gambian men, have it, so there's no need going outside looking for a man. Oh, okay, so now I'm a Gambian man. I, I didn't even know, but do you know that I'm not Gambian? I know. Oh. <laughs> But anyway, whether you're Gambian, whether you are um, Ghana, Nigeria, it's all about one Africa. Yes. Do Gambian women ever try to date someone in Africa? Like maybe it's not Gambia, but it's Nigeria or Ghana or something. Yes, it has happened. Okay, so if somebody from Ghana comes to Gambia and says, oh, you're so beautiful and I want to like have your number or something, will you do that? Yes, I will. You give it a but try. It is the same Africa. Now she's coming back home. <laughs> this is how it is. And your name again? Thank you so much for talking to me. You're welcome. What is your name? Too? Oh, I didn't tell you my name. No, you my didn't. name is Maya. Okay. But before I go, can I have your number? Mm, maybe after. Okay, after the camera, eh? Yes. Okay. Please, after I'll get back to you. Hey, my name is Maya. What's your name? Kasama. I am Juliana. Juliana Aruna. My name is Maimuna. Aisha Jare. Hi, my name is Rohietu. My name is Ejifatu Jawa. I am Aisha Tu Mboku. Aisha Tu, she's the same woman who gave me jollof yesterday. <laughs> Your name is Kasa? Kasama. You are from the Gambia? Yeah, from the Gambia. Wow. I have a unique question to ask you. Mm -hmm. What is so unique about Gambian women? Well, there's a lot of unique things about Gambian women, but the I think the most special thing is um, the, you know, we've been brought up in a very special way. Mm -hmm. We are very respectful because mm -hmm. we've been told by our parents that respect is key in everything. And I feel Gambian women are very respectful, at least 95% of the time. We are super respectful to everyone and let me say everything. Everything. Yeah. Uh, Gambian women, I think the culture. The culture is one thing that is very, very unique about Gambia, Gambian women in general, yes. The way we dress, the way we talk, the way we do certain things is actually quite different from what other countries do, from countries, from women from other countries, yeah. Do certain things like what? Um, let's say, when it comes to education, we're very, very, very serious when it comes to education. Okay. Yeah, when it comes to being housewives and housewomen, we're also, also very, very serious. Okay. Yeah. So which one do you prefer? You, you want to be a housewife or something? Uh, no. I want to be an independent woman. <laughs> um, well, to me, Gambian women are extra unique in the sense that they are determined. Okay. Um, they're responsible. They're goal getters. They're achievers, and they are hardworking. Whatever wow. they set their mind on, that is good for the future of their children. They ensure to walk towards that path in order to achieve it, no matter the consequences or the dilemma they might face there. What is the target that you have for 2019? 
Um, well, the target I'm having for 2019 is to complete my BSc. Okay. And then, inshallah, work on my personal makeup skill to develop it more. Okay. And also find a way of getting another job in order to help in between. She's really a go getter, man. And I really admire that. Gambian women, we are beautiful, we are talented, we are intelligent, we are hardworking, we are just naturally gifted from God. Wow, naturally gifted. Gambian women are unique and talented in their own ways. And I believe we're all moving towards our achievements by working hard. Working hard? Do you really work hard? Of course I do. And what do you intend to achieve in the future? Um, I tend to become a great person, a person that would inspire and motivate a lot of youths in our country. How will you inspire and motivate a lot of youths? In what aspect? By actually talking to them about the real life, about how the world is supposed to be and how we as human beings and individuals are supposed to, you know, act as a person. Wow. Well, we as Gambian women, we are unique in our own way, I can say. One thing that is much important mm -hmm. with us is that we are friendly. Wow. We are very friendly. And we are used to us with smiling. That is so unique about us. Wow, is it because this country is a smiling coast of Africa, so everyone yeah, is smiling? Yeah, we the people make it a smiling coast, so obviously we are going to act that way. Wow. <laughs> you know, when you go to Ghana, we call our women Ghanaian jollof. Uh -huh. If you go to Nigeria, we call Nigerian women, oh, that's a Nigerian jollof. Instead of saying Nigerian girl, yeah. say like, that's a Nigerian jollof. What should I call Gambian women? Um, that's a Gambian Benechin. <laughs> Benechin. <laughs> okay. So, what is so unique about Gambian Benechin? Gambian Benechin, beautiful. Wow. Obedient. Wow. Respectful. Defiant. Mm. And um, goal getters. We're, we're dream achievers. That's my tagline. So, I feel as if every Gambian woman is out there to get it. Mm -hmm. And they walk surpass all the challenges to achieve their dreams. That's a beautiful message I've ever had in my entire life. You know, I, I also heard that Gambian women really love money. Is it true? Well, I don't know. Everybody has their own opinion, but I, most of the Gambian women that I've met, including myself, mm -hmm. we're hardworking enough to, you know, fend for ourselves and, and spend on ourselves too. So you mean Gambian women are independent? Very independent. Most of the ones that I've known. Do Gambian women date out of Gambia? Yes, we do. Wow, the way you say, yeah, we do. Definitely, your boyfriend is from Ghana. Well, uh, I, I used to have a Nigerian boyfriend. Oh, more Niger. You people are everywhere, huh? Uh, I, no, let me salute. Arise, oh, compatriot. Come on. Shout out to all Nigerians in the house, man. Yes, they do. They we're really open to that. We date we did other people from other uh, nationalities. Yes. Are you single? No. I'm not single. <laughs> Are you going to be single anytime soon? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't want to be. <laughs> um, well, yeah. I wouldn't say it's very, very common, but it, it does happen, especially now. Things are changing, you know. People are finding love in many places so yeah I would say we, we do now <laughs> so I, I guess you're also finding love out of Gambia well not right now but who knows maybe <laughs> <laughs> of course some women did out of Gambia your boyfriend is from Gambia or out of Gambia I don't have a boyfriend she's single <laughs> I, I want to get your boyfriend today is it okay <laughs> no I don't want to have a boyfriend at the moment why I don't just feel like having a boyfriend. I want to focus on my education at the moment. Education first. Yeah. I like that. Like that. But you know, I have a lot of brothers out there who are looking forward to visit the Gambia. And you know why they are coming to visit? Um. Yes, because we saw hospitality. No, the they, 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 are, they are not coming for your hospitality, but uh, they are coming to. Are they coming no, for? they are looking forward to have a beautiful Gambian lady just like you. Do you uh, think Gambian women date out of Gambia? Um, yes, it does happen. Are you single? Because love can be found anywhere. Are you single? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, brothers. No, she's not single. Are you single? Oh, I wanted to keep that private. 
Wow, your boyfriend is not going to be happy about that. Are you sure you, are, are you sure you are really single? No, I want to keep it private. You want to keep it private? Okay, you know what? I have a friend eh, yeah. who's looking forward to visit Gambia, but he's looking forward to marry a Gambian lady, you know? So we want to know, why should somebody out there marry a Gambian lady? Well, one thing the person should know is that marriage is not just a one-day thing. He should come here to know the person first before, mm -hmm. like, having a relationship with the person. Okay. But one thing I can tell him is that when he comes, he's not going to be disappointed with the woman because we are very friendly. <laughs> wow. Thank <laughs> he's not going to be disappointed. No. You're not going to be disappointed? Well, like I said, we are very respectful, mm -hmm. we are decent, we are kind, we are loving, and... Um, well, let me just say, he should just go ahead without hesitation. Okay. He would not regret it. Wow. Yeah, because we are that good. And yeah. I, I might also go in for Gambian woman, and I know definitely I will never regret. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because we're unique. We're diff As I said, we're different from other people, so you would obviously love it. When you get to date a Gambian woman, okay. uh, you will know. <laughs> I will know that you will know. from today. <laughs> yeah. Someone should date a Gambian lady because Gambian ladies are they are they are respectable. They are responsible as well. Okay. Like they are not just uh, someone that you can just play with. Like they know what their role is. Okay. They know how to make a relationship work. Oh wow. And I I, I guess like I I don't deserve a Gambian lady because. Why? I don't know whether I'm a player. They say I'm a player, but I don't think I am one, though. But I will make sure I get a, a Gambian lady so that she, like, I will learn how to, change you, inshallah. yeah, to change me. I really want to change. My last question before I go: If you ever had the chance to change something about your country, what will you change? To actually change the education system in our country. Should somebody out there marry a Gambian lady? Like I said, first we're pretty, and. Um, we're easy going. Okay. I feel as if when you have a Gambian woman, you have a very understanding mm. partner, someone that is ready to work with you, wow. to also support you through all you know the hard times and make sure that both of you get there together. And make sure both of you get there together. I like the fact that most of the ladies that I interviewed are saying that Gambian women are so supportive and that uh, they are go-getters because I love dream achievers. So I really enjoyed talking to you. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby. I'm leaving the smiling coast of Africa today. Oh, Don't okay. forget to like the videos. <laughs> if you haven't seen the other videos, go check it out and let's make Gambia great again. It's your boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, and I'm out. Peace, Peace out. Dating here and being in no, Nigeria. No, you get what I mean? You dated a Nigerian in the Gambia, uh -huh. but definitely he took you to... Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I agree. I agree. Do you guys understand? <laughs>